And now we're getting into our first topic, Ian. So, GM is joining Ford on the Tesla bandwagon. Do you know what that would entail? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Other than possibly batteries? Uh, no, not batteries, but similar. Okay. So, they are going to adapt the Tesla charging port onto all their new vehicles going forward, copying Ford's decision to go do that. Oh. So prior to that, they had a universal port from every other manufacturer except Tesla. <laughs> except <laughs> Tesla. Tesla has their own. Okay. It's like they're the lightning and everybody else is using type C and they refuse to use type C. Ah. And now the other people, instead of going from uh, type C or from the lightning to type C, the people on type C are going to lightning. Which is the Tesla port. I see. Okay, I can see where this is going now. Huh. Yeah. All right, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. That's going to bring not only just competition and sort of alliances, you could say, but also mm -hmm. just, like, from a consumer standpoint, you're going to be able to just charge like your four vehicle over here mm. over there okay but well, go on so um basically the um addition of this charging port will allow gm access to 12 to 17 thousand chargers prior to this they were only able to access the other chargers in the area but the tesla ones are the most prevalent in in most places Right, yeah. So they have their own GPS roadmap that lets you <clears throat> go directly, yeah. yeah. So the weird thing is that you would think Tesla would charge them or GM would pay for access. Uh -huh. Apparently they're not. They're not actually paying or like for access into this. Uh -huh. And uh I could see why. So they're gonna be adding the ability to um, charge on their network, so their Tesla's getting all the revenue from people charging at their spots. So there's more consumers at basically a gas station of sorts, their charging station. Is there a premium for fast charging? Um, that is to be seen because typically um, GM and other car manufacturers are using a different type of fast charging. So it might not be one in one, or they might not be mm. able to charge as fast as they could because right. um different charging mechanics might affect the way it goes but since they're working closer with tesla they might actually have a better link in terms of this because instead of having an adapter mm -hmm. they're just going to go directly into the charger oh okay. yeah so okay. which does that mean you know would would that make you want to buy a tesla or a gm or ford more than uh, right now, like, does that entice you to buy a Ford or GM electric car? I would say so. Um, as the world is moving more towards just electric in general, um, we as consumers need more incentives to go over and, I guess, uh, sort of adopt the um, electric car industry. And one of the biggest challenges with the electric car industry is. Mm -hmm charging your car and the whole rain and dealing with range anxiety yeah right and you know it we still haven't gotten to the point where you know when you have a gasoline ice powered car mm -hmm. you know all you need to do is spend maybe what two minutes at a gas station filling yeah, maybe up five versus, at most yeah five at most versus what i think tesla fast chargers 20 can, to 30 30 minutes about yeah 30 minutes to maybe even an hour mm -hmm. so being able to bridge that gap and allow for not only more charging, will, mm -hmm. um, but also cross manufacturers to use this charger here versus mm -hmm. that charger there, you know, that would be more enticing as a consumer because I wouldn't, it would lessen my range anxiety. Mm, more charge available to you. Yeah. So if I told you that Tesla is holding back some of their network of chargers, would that change your mind at all? Oh, no, I would totally expect them to, <laughs> honestly. 
you can't be dealing your whole hand out. That's true. <laughs> as a company, there are some things you need to keep in reserve. Otherwise, mm. there's you're not going to have much, I guess, brand individuality. Mm. Very true. All right. Well, um, I guess we can uh, move on to our next topic then. Okay.